Welcome back to Virginia this morning. The Virginia Egg Council likes to refer to Wednesdays as Egg Day. So why not enjoy a great tasting and easy to make recipe that features some incredible edible eggs. Take a look. We've praised it as one of the most important meals of the day, breakfast. And I might suggest second breakfast is a close runner up. But that's beside the point. We're joined with our great friend of the show, Mary Rappaport with the Virginia Egg Council. Mary, it's great to see you today. Oh, it's great to be with you. And you know, we're outside one of the last days of the year, probably we can be outside. The leaves are off the cherry trees. They're on the ground, which means another chore to do, raking the leaves. But the crispness is in the air and it's kind of fun. But um, this recipe that I'm doing today is called Coffee Shop Egg Bites. And it reminds me of the days when we used to go to coffee shops every day to get our coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Remember those days? Folks? Remember those days? Yeah. <laughs> now we're doing things at home. So it's interesting to learn almost the hacks of being able to put some of our favorites together. Exactly. Exactly. And this recipe, I believe, was developed by the coffee shops because um, folks would come in that were on low carb diets you know, the paleo, the keto, all the different diets that didn't use carbohydrates. And they wanted eggs because eggs don't contain carbohydrates. And they didn't have anything to serve them. So they came up with this recipe called Egg Bites. And they did it in like these little containers that was in a, it's a sous vide method of preparing eggs. And by, do you have any idea what sous vide is, Jessica? We've talked about that on the, on the show before, a slow simmer in, in a water bath, right? In so it's a very bath. gentle way. Mm -hmm. It's exactly right. It's very gently cooking it. And so they came up with this recipe that for eggs, it's eggs and cheese cooked in this water bath. And I'm sure they are frozen and then just heated up to serve you. And, um, and, and so um, Hamilton Beach Products, who... They're right there in Richmond there with you. They came up with an egg bite maker, which um, they've, let, they've shared with me. And I am thrilled to show you how to make it right now. It's a super easy recipe and you can make it at home for a fraction of what you would pay for it. So we're gonna go ahead and start by putting the ingredients in here. Now I do need to tell you one egg makes two of the little egg bites. I am doubling the recipe just because I like to have extra in the refrigerator for an extra person that might be living with me or for tomorrow. And then I can just make them tomorrow so easily. So this is a double the recipe. I'm gonna put two eggs in here. It originally would be one, so two eggs in here. It calls for two tablespoons of softened cream cheese. So I'm using four tablespoons of softened cream cheese and I brought it to room temperature so it's, so it's softened that way. And I'm also using a lower fat version of that. And then you need six tablespoons of whatever kind of grated cheese you, you want. This happens to be Monterey Jack with a kick, with a, with a bite to it. And you put that together and blend it. That's it. Okay, so there's nothing to it. All right, then you have your egg bite maker. And the egg bite maker looks like this. You can actually go online and get them if you don't want to go to a store. And uh, it calls for 100 milliliters of water, which it has a, a marking right there. You're going to put that on the bottom. And that's what heats up and steams this. You need to take the cover off. And there's a mark right here that says maximum fill. And I'm going to put that in right there to fill it right to the maximum. And this batch that I just made is a double batch, like I said, so it'll make four of them, two now and two later. I'm gonna put bacon on top of mine, um, but you could do anything you want or nothing. And then you cover it like this, make sure the cover is on it properly. And you're gonna see when I plug it in that there's a, the light comes on. I think you can see the light coming on. Did you just see a light come on? Maybe not in this light, but the light comes on and this is not the kind of thing that you wanna just leave and go off and do the laundry or something. You wanna just be hanging around the kitchen because it only takes five or six minutes. And oh, okay. once, yeah, two of these lights just went on and what happens is when one of them goes off, that means that it's done. And here I have in this one right here, 
the done ones. And you can see what happens right here, Jessica. I don't know if you can see, but they puffed up beautifully. Put that bacon on top. Here we have this right here. And it's really, really lovely. It's just a very soft, wonderful way to enjoy eggs. They're just, they're just lovely like this. Um, here's my finished product, the way I would serve it with fruit, with uh, some vegetables on the side. And I have a lot of these right here that I can show you. You can actually, it's so versatile. This is made with egg white and um, mushrooms. This is made with spinach. This is uh, with red pepper, again, bacon, and this is um, some more with mushrooms. So you can be really versatile, play around with the recipe all you want, but um, instead of paying $5 for two of them at a coffee shop, you can pay like 25 cents, 30 cents at home. So what do you it's think? Like, it is like paying dividends to have this behind the scenes on how to put these together. And Mary, it sounds like, you know, when you're doubling that portion, obviously you must have found that they're easy to reheat. And if you're making a platter full, which would be beautiful for maybe a brunch, remember those days when we got together for brunches, yeah, exactly. but they're easy to reheat. It just takes 30 seconds to a minute to reheat, depending on the strength of your microwave. So you can, if the kids are going to school, which some of them are, you can have them all ready. You can actually have the children choose which ones they want. They can have their signature. You can see the steam coming out now, right? And what that's doing is it's steaming that little cup of egg mixture right there. And then uh, when it goes off, it's done. Um, yeah, and, I, and also you can freeze them. Uh, these actually, I made the other day and stuck in the freezer and then just took them out today to show you. So um, coffee shop egg bites, you can go to virginiaeggcouncil.org for the recipe, or you can go to your website too. Tray Magnifique. Thank you so much, Mary. Those look absolutely delicious. And I love that we're getting creative and trying something new at home. Fantastic. We'll be sure to share the recipe. And as you said, we'll have a direct link on our website later today, wtbr.com slash VTM, so that you can go find the recipe from Virginia Egg Council for those coffee shop egg bites.